Hot on the heels of Earth Siege comes another Dynamics game of Herc Robot Combat, Metal Tech Battle Drone, a pulse quickening game of one-on-one -on -one combat. You actually liked this one? Uh, yeah, I did. Didn't you? Not by a long shot. I was frustrated, angered, and bored to tears. How come? Well, let's get into the review and I'll clue you in. Battle Drome is a game of combat between huge killer robots called Perks. These skyscraper-sized death machines fight it out in a specialized combat arena. Okay, problem number one. The arena is a black room with a grid of white dots on the floor and ceiling to let you know where they are. Graphically, it's about the most boring thing I've ever seen. You can change the size and light level of the arena as well as add objects. Pillars provide good defensive cover and you can even opt to include laser turrets, which make the arena itself dangerous. Those are all good additions, especially the laser turrets. They even look nice, but it still doesn't change the fact that the arena is a graphic dead zone. We'll let you fight in a black box! Ooh, keep enticing me. To fight someone, you choose a candidate from a list of computer-controlled opponents and issue a challenge. You then haggle over the details. You know, how much money each of you will wager, what perks will be used, that sort of thing. The challenging system is nice, for the first few times anyway, then it just gets irritating. I want to fight, not haggle with the computer. A wise man once said to me, gambling without real money is just plain boring. You know, he's right. Well, how about the control system? You can't gripe about that, can you? In a big way. I hated it. But why? It's the same control scheme as Earth Siege, and you liked it then. It's almost the same, but not quite. The hat switch isn't used for anything anymore. Now, if they aren't going to use the hat to change your view, they should have let you control your turret with it, instead of flipping between movement and turret modes on the stick. That's pure laziness, and it irritates me like you wouldn't believe. Okay, then let's talk about the cockpit. You right-click on each HUD and move it around, letting you customize your own cockpit. Isn't that cool? Yes, but they forgot one very important thing. There's no way to tell if your turret is looking at the ceiling, the floor, or straight ahead. Since there's practically no graphics to help you get your bearings, this is a very obvious omission. The combat, then. I thought fighting the other Hercs was great. The AI is pretty good, and the Herc graphics were very impressive. It's a tense, nail-biting battle. You can't deny that, can you? No, I'll admit that the fighting is pretty good. Battledrome has what it takes to be a good game, but the boring arena combined with the clumsier-than-it-had-to-be control killed the game for me. I don't think we'll ever agree about this one. I liked Battledrome a lot. It's good against the computer, and it really shines with the network and modem play. This is a great two-person game. The network and modem play options are Battledrome's only selling points, in my opinion. If you play a lot of modem games, Battledrome may appeal to you. Otherwise, it's inferior to Earth Siege in every imaginable way.